I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please, please. Should I kill him or not? Please. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything oh. else. Arthur? John's still looking good as ever. In Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. All right, well, let's head out of here. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this in this series, but this is pretty much a movie. So many cutscenes. I mean, it looks amazing, though. Lenny! Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Just getting all the settings right on my computer. Sorry for all the clicking. Oh, we get to drive. Please stop tapping X so much. I don't think it's helping. Get us out the stream. I'm trying. Oh. You gotta keep us moving, but Tire looks a little wobbly. Ah, shit. Yep. <laughs> I saw it when it was going to hit a rock in the river or something. Does everything look alright? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. Alright. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wig? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. That was easy. Nearly there. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Uh oh. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. Nope, where'd our buddies go? We'll follow the river, then cut I can see something's going to go bad. You can switch between different radar sizes and compass by holding... Indians in the... Compass. 
expand southwest okay regular it's got some right. very raw deal like this one this is the heart. seems like a good size good farming and grazing country they lost it all stolen clean away from them it was every blade of grass killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere and how's that different from anywhere else well maybe it's not I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it unpleasant how do you rob and kill people pleasantly we don't in spite of that just talk I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. All the life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. We're now hot. This is shown by the flashing sun icon in your health gear. To avoid becoming too hot, make sure to wear clothes appropriate for the environment. You never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marsh did, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. So I gotta take off some clothes. Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. So there's a problem between me and Marston? Arthur and Marston? Depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes. I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock pen kind of not too far from here called Valentine. Oops. Cowboys, Just trying to look around. Working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them. Okay. Pinkertons. Get back on the damn road. <laughs> Sorry. Let's hope not. In this place we're going. Wait. But what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always have. This guy is not liking Dutch's plans. Dutch? We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Oh, another cutscene? What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores using cooking or to craft items. Damn. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. I'm already lost with so much shit you can do. Compendium tracks what you can have discovered in the world that can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Oh, we're really cruising now. Compendium. Narrow. Update. Wait, what? Hold what for details?
Alright, so we're almost there. Let's take a look at the map here. Grizzlies West. Alright, okay. A lot of searching. Yeah. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Oh shit, I didn't see this guy. Hold R1 to bring the wig into a complete stop. Okay, let's go. Who did we just pick up? And where are we going? Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Oh, it's Javier. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Yeah, that seems pretty... Pretty low. Laying pretty low back in these woods. Keep pissing off the horses because I keep pushing X. Whipping their ass. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. We got camp. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. But now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too so it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are... I'm sure that'll work. ...laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. <laughs> Miss Jackson, I've seen S Sleep, shaver, change clothes at your tent. Alright. Well, it just told me to take off some of the, the clothes since we aren't in... Aren't in the winter anymore. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. Got through the first chapter. Couple weeks later. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. 
been this far east in many a year. The Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. You drink and rest, There's maintain your quarters. Bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Compendium update. Your gang's camp is shown with the TP triangle symbol. Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit beside your tent to visit a barber to maintain your facial hair. Ooh, we're growing it out. It's November now. No shave November. Alright, let's see where we have to go. Oh, we can go to Uncle. Let's just go right to him. See what he wants. I know Uncle was in Red Dead 1. Help maintain the farm, I remember. Where is he? Is he right there? Wait. Is that him? It was. Jeez, I don't think we need to, to kick him that hard. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe Taking all the girls to town. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are gonna love it. Okay then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. I wish I could drive these a little bit faster. Yeah. And I can. If I could do that the whole time, I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Lady. This is <laughs> what the heck? This guy's going, uh oh. Alright, 
Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? From right here? Right next to you? I'd really appreciate the help. Oh, I'm worried this one here will all drown me too. This one? All right, agitated horses need to be calm before you can approach them. Lock on with L2 and press square. Whoa, whoa, easy. Whoa, now. Hey, that is a whoa. What did I just do? Making love to the horse, quick. Well done. Can't can't go any faster. There you go, bud. Hicks in the world will impact your honor level and change how people in the world interact with you. Positive action will make you more honorable. Anyway, thank you. I'm just being too nice now. I bet if I wouldn't have. If I wouldn't have done that, they would have been calling me heartless and stuff. To be honest, you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to be nice around the ladies. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society. Must be a speed limit in town. <laughs> okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. I've seen everything. All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. I'm sure this will work really well. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Funny. <laughs> I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. I am right there. Morning. Items in the shop can be purchased directly from shelves by looking at the item and holding square. Let's for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't 
don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Yeah. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Put some coffee. I want coffee. Right here. See it. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Just bought some coffee. Relax. Maybe. Okay. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Why did I buy two things? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Buy some sweet corn. Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. I got anything to sell? Look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Don't have anything. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep. That's fine whiskey. Maybe I'll buy some whiskey too. Us. Let's go wait for them outside. Ooh. Three bucks. All the best, fellers. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. It's already been a year off that mountain? Myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Another train robbery. Train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. As to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. I'm sure there's trouble. <laughs> there's Tilly over there. Oh. That does not look ideal. Uh oh. Excuse me. We're gonna get in a bar fight. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. Let's beat his ass. I should have intervened. Exactly. You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. All right. Uncle! All right. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Did you hear? That horrible Mr. Percy has been cheating on young Mr. Well, there's something to be said for consistency, I suppose. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... Oops. Sir? Please don't bother the other guests, sir. How about you shut up? A map, perhaps? No trouble now, please. Yeah, uh, we'll see about that. It looks like someone.
Uh oh. I'm getting what I paid for. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Wait. I'm gonna punch him. How do I how do I punch him? Think you two can spam me? Here we go. Punch him. This guy's kicking my ass. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Hope, uh, There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. She's gonna rob a bank, too? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Good. Shit, no. Hey, that's my horn. Just borrowing it. <laughs> Stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh my God. You stop right here. I don't want no trouble. And stop. Oh. You just fall off. <laughs> Please do something. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. One question. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please. Pull Should me. I kill him or not? Please. Please. I'll be nice. I'm being way too nice this game. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. <laughs> A mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. Jimmy Brooks. You my life. You're a good man, and I uh here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. <laughs> Very kind of Take a steel pen. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. <laughs> not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. Jimmy Brooks. Got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one cent <laughs> in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. <laughs> 
All right, well, that'll do it for episode five. See you guys later.